what's going on guys welcome back to this channel it's all about architecture engineering and construction and like i always mentioned we are all about brushing the african narrative so i'm going to be showing you around this project that we're handling in gayaza it's a five bedroom mega mansion okay it's not a mega mansion it's just a mansion really Just like a mini mansion, seated on about, let's say, about 20 something decimals, eh? 20 and 20, about 23 decimals. Eh? Okay. So, we're yeah, going to just take you through a tour of the whole of the project, and um, we hope you have a thing or two to learn from it. Okay, I might not be able to show you the ground floor because right now they're already probably standing up, so it's going to be a bit dark and difficult to navigate through in here and there. But I'm just going to show you the upstairs, okay. Alright, let's get to this. So, this is a view from the road, okay? And as you can see, I'm just going to walk to it. Just looking at it from the outside. Now, let me just zoom out a bit. Yes. So, we have basically, that's what it looks like. Uh, that's what the front looks like. Those, who have, those of you who have followed our channel for quite some time, uh, we posted the design of this house, uh, I don't know how long ago, but we'll bring it back up on the screen so you can be able to see it. Eh? So basically, this is how it is. Uh, there has been a very, very, very minimal or small change, really. But everything has really stuck to the plan, okay? The view from this other side, you can see there is a nice view on this side. If I could show you around in the neighborhood, looking like this. Uh, that over there should be the kitchen balcony and there are a few other features here which you might be able to comprehend better when you look at the video itself of the artistic impressions eh? so i'm just going to walk to the house and then the rest maybe you we should be able to talk about them when i'm already upstairs okay so let me just take the stairs i'm having to hold the camera myself okay so i'm just going to climb these ladders we have the stairs there so i'm just going to climb these ladders together okay let's do this okay so we have the stairs here very small lobby just here let me check inside on this side we have a small office that also has a balcony so there's a view of the front okay go back this side into the lobby let me just show you here i'm going to show you the master bedroom last eh? so we have a bedroom here right here just about 18 square meters and then this is the bathroom for this bedroom specifically as you can see have a view of the road in these windows this here is a duct this whole thing that you see here it's going to be a duct you have a view of the road here and another view of the same road here another window right here okay this is the back of the house so going back into the into the lobby or into the foyer, whatever you like to call it, we have another bedroom here, quite spacious, like you can see, which is also actually self-contained, self-contained. I think I've seen one detail that I might need to talk about. Eh? Let me just show you from this side. So you see how this door was actually meant to be at the edge right at the edge of the wall but we always do this offset on this side 
I am not really a fan of wall of doors that start exactly from the wall. Okay? Because when you reach the point of putting those arch trails, you find them actually having issues with blending with the wall like it looks like it's starting exactly from the wall here, which doesn't really look beautiful. Okay? Hope that makes sense. So back to this side, as you walk through here, we have this living room upstairs. Eh? I'm just going to walk through so you can have a look at it. Hey guys, this is one important thing. Eh? This balcony is actually carved. I don't know if you're able to, to perceive that. Eh? It's actually carved. And I like this concept where we always detach the balcony of the upper floor from the pillars that actually come from the ground. Guys, that's really beautiful that like even when you are here, you're able to see these pillars all the way the way they move up to the ground floor. I like that detail so much. Okay. So we are just going to walk into the master's bedroom. As you walk into the master's bedroom, you walk straight into the walk-in closet. So we have closets all around this space as you can see. On this side is the actual bedroom space. Okay. Then we have a closet here. Then we have a bathroom there. Quite a nice arrangement. Now the master's bedroom has actually quite a number of balconies. There's this balcony that looks over into the valley. Okay. Still the same concept. The balcony on the first floor is detached from the pillars. As you can see. Same concept there. I love this concept so much. This way it kind of conceals you a bit. You don't feel like exactly you are in the nose of the compound, but you just feel you can see everything as much as you want. Okay, so anyway, this is all the closet space. And that is Solomon. <laughs> He's very shy. So, we have the bathroom being here. Quite big enough to have everything. All the things I've needed in a master's bathroom. That is a master bath. That is a... A shower closet or a shower cabin, whichever you can call it. Then we have a toilet and we have plenty of cabinets and double sinks. Okay. So this itself now is the master's bedroom. Uh, about We have about 5.1 meters here. And here we have about 4.4 meters. Right. Which is quite, quite big. And we have a balcony over there. Yeah. Now this balcony, um, originally we had designed this bedroom to end around here, but we did a little extension, which kind of made this balcony to actually turn into a French balcony, something you can stand in and even walk. Okay. You can stand in and even walk, but the Manone is will be able to put a seat and sit. But since the master balcony has other, other balconies, so the French balcony will do. Okay. That's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. That's the compound over there where the cars are going to be parked and stuff like that. I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. There has not been a lot to learn from this video, but for those who haven't built yet and are planning to, you might have a few things to copy from here. Okay. Yes, otherwise, thank you very much guys for watching and have yourself a good time.